It's been only 10 minutes of observing traffic flow at the toll booth close to the Sugakope Bridge along the Accra Flau Highway. But we've counted more than 30 vehicles pulling through the toll booths here. Eight commercial vehicles with Togo and Nigerian number plates, a handful of private vehicles, and even motorbikes. This is an ECOWAS road. Economic benefit to residents and business owners here is immeasurable. District Chief Executive for South Tong, Emmanuel Agama, underscores the importance of a highway. This road is, uh, you know, ECOWAS road where we have international or other uh, people from uh, neighboring countries uh, passing through. Um, as I said, uh, from Abidjan uh, through Accra uh, to Lome, uh, Kutanu and Lagos, it's a corridor that uh, you know most passengers uh, plied, and therefore uh, you know it's very, an important route to uh, to us as a a country or as a district. Now, if you're wondering why anyone will target this stretch, then this is why. We have decided to vent our spleen and anger on the whole nation by blocking this Sogakope uh, bar, uh, bridge. We are sorry for the inconvenience we may have caused to travelers, but this is our way of recording our displeasure towards what has been happening in the community. <laughs> So on the 1st and 2nd of March, angry residents of Sugakopa poured onto the streets, mounted roadblocks and impeded traffic flow for several hours. They actually amassed themselves here uh, around 9 a.m., blocked the road to vehicular traffic and then uh, to uh, somehow register their displeasure and then show to the world and to the government that uh, they are not happy with uh, operations of the police here. So there was no movement here from uh, on Sunday from 9 a.m. to about 1 p.m. when the opinion leaders came in to speak to them and then uh, advised that they should open the uh, unauthorized roadblock that they mounted here on Sunday. Joy News has been told the toll booth operators had to flee the boots during the disturbances to avoid being caught up in it. The cumulative effect of those actions of a youth are a, a target uh, of 4,582 CDs, for example, on Sunday was not realized because of the mass action by the residents. So they were only able to raise an amount of 2,825 CDs, a shortfall of 1,700 CDs plus, which was lost because of a protest here. Also on Monday, a similar situation here happened. We are told that a target of 4,974 CDs was not met. The operators were only able to realize 3,609 CDs. Also, uh, 1,000 CDs shortfall in revenue. So altogether, in excess of 2,700 CDs. Though the road is now open to traffic, there are fears the residents could return to block it again. But DCE Emmanuel Agama says there are adequate measures to ensure the international route does not suffer any more blockades. With this uh, roadblock, uh, is something that disturbs a lot, which we, we need to up our game uh, so that this thing of uh, this nature will not uh, crop up again. Komla Adum and Fred Kwame Asari's report from Sugakopa in the Volta region.